That's the Creality CR10, the super cheap and big 3D printer. Build area is 30 by 30 by 40 cm, so it can print a really big object. It has a heated bed, big graphic display, and it is very easy to assemble. You can do it in less than 30 minutes. You can easily print with PLA, ABS, PET and other non-flex materials. So without more talking, let's build it. You can buy this printer on Gearbest.com for $399. You can find link to it in the description. Let's start with a quick showcase of what can you find in the kit. So as you can see everything comes in a big box. It is well protected and easy to take out. There are no unnecessary foil or tape, that's also a plus. There are two main parts, the bottom and top. On the bottom part there is heated bed with glass on it and tape for better adhesion. The top part has a head and extruder on the side, it's not direct, it's bolded. There is also a big black box with electronics, here you have to connect all motors, head and bed. The last thing is small cardboard box, here are all the small things like screws, tools, small filament spool, spatula, filament holder, SD card, 8GB, SD card reader, cable and some parts that we will need to assemble it. And that's the best part of it, you will get all the tools that you need. You can also find here a tape for the table. Now we can start assembling, shouldn't take more than 30 minutes so don't worry. We can begin with the bottom part and removing the protection foil from it. It is quite strong so you can use cutters from kit to cut it. Then we can grab the top part and put it on the bottom part. With two screws we can fix together two parts from the bottom side. In the cardboard box you can find two black elements. We need those to make the frame more rigid. We'll mount them on the sides, as shown. One of them has mounted end stop on it, make sure to mount it on the extruder side. Check if all screws are tightened enough and if wool printer is rigid. Now we can connect cables to control box. The first cable is from head, we have to connect it to upper socket, second one is from bed and it goes to lower socket. Then we can connect all of those small cables to stepper motors and end stops. Let's begin with X axis and extruder. End stop is in the front of X axis motor and the extruder is next to the X axis motor with the yellow plastic element on it. Let's do the same for Y-axis, the motor is on the back of the printer and end stop is in front of it. The last cables to connect are for Z-axis. It's below X-axis and end stop is mounted on the small T-like element that we use to assemble both parts of our printer. Mm -hmm. 
That's the filament holder, we have to fix it to control box with small screws. We can connect filament guide, that's this plastic tube, to extruder. Plug an SD card to slot in the control box, make sure that the switch on the bottom is in good position for voltage in your country, that's very important. That's some spare parts. Connect power cable to control box and then to socket. It's time to turn our printer on with switch on the back of it. If everything is ok, we should see text on the screen. Here we have standard menu as in almost any printer. And this knob works so good. We can heat up the head and bed of our printer to calibrate it. When it is ready, we can auto home all axes. Now, by moving head on the wool table, we have to calibrate the bed. For that, we will use just a piece of paper and the screws on the bottom of bed. You have to move head to all four corners of the printer and adjust the bed height to make it easy to put paper between nozzle and bed, but not too much. There should be just a small gap in the height of paper thickness. When calibration process is done, we can load a filament and extrude some of it. If everything goes fine, we can start our first print. My first print on this printer was a bench. That's like a benchmark for 3D printers, just small boat. It goes very well, but the retraction was too small, and that's the reason why there are those strings of filament on it. It is easy to change that in slicer settings. I also print out a pen holder with really good matte black filament. This print looks amazing, and it's very hard to see layers on it. The quality is pretty impressive. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe to my channel and check out the link to printer in the description.